Hey Matis, do you know how to go up? You want to? Let's see if you know how to go up. Let's see if this is gonna work. Matis, come on, Matis, come here. here. We're gonna put some here, right here, <laughs> right here, here. There we go. I'm gonna put some here. All right, that's a third rung, and he just stretches. Look how huge he is. <laughs> stretches and he can get there but that's not the idea on the list for tomorrow is to do an egg hunt I have a feeling that they're laying eggs somewhere that I don't that somewhere I don't know where and I'd like to know like they can be laying eggs anywhere usually they lay them in the egg boxes but I've been shutting them off because they've been sleeping in there so, you just have to come around. Like such an area is good to check. No, nope, they like going back. This time of year, anyway, egg production is lower. I'm on a, I'm on a chat, a chicken, chicken, what's it called? Chicken, home chicken owner chat. And everyone's complaining that their egg count goes down these days because production of eggs goes according to the sun so if there's not enough light they stop laying they need like 14 hours of light to lay so if we do that calculation there's not enough light in the winter so every they'll lay every other day or every three days for them to lay less in the winter which is fine in the regular egg industry okay they have lights on them every um, artificial lights that simulate sunlight they have on around 18 hours a day. So they'll do, let's say um, at night, they'll shut off the hours for like four or five hours, shut off the lights and then open the lights and they'll think it's morning and sun and that will start the production going again. We don't do that. I don't mind that they rest and we have some less eggs in the winter. Let's take a look now at our homemade feed bucket. It's a regular five gallon bucket and I cut out holes for their head and the reason I did that a to keep the food off the ground because when it's on the ground they get their feet in it and they spread it all over and it goes a lot to waste and it stays dry because I cover it now I open the cover for you to see how it works how they stick their heads in We have yesterday's food underneath. Then I cover it with a layer of wood chips, a layer of dry leaves, and then I put another layer of food. You layer compost. The secret to good compost is layering your carbons and your nitrogen. Carbon, all your carbon stuff is your leaf, your dry leaves, your wood chips, all the browns. The nitrogen is your food. If you layer it properly and ha keep it moist, it's going to cook up by itself. A Shem secret recipe. Turn into earth. And look at a buffet. Look how healthy. Good morning, everyone, on this bright, sunny day. You know, you never complain about a bright, sunny day, even though it's the middle of winter and I'm wondering what's going on. It's like summer. It's supposed to get rainy towards the end of the week. Maybe. Anyway, I'm excited. I have lots going on. I have, um, what are we going to do today? I have strawberries to plant, flax seeds to plant, strawberries. We bought for Shabbos strawberries, Israeli strawberries. And I just saved a few little pieces and I'm going to plant it as is in the ground. We're going to see what happens. 
So these are the pieces that I saved with the seeds on. See strawberries, the seeds are on the outside. And I'm just going to put it in the ground, just like it is. You can try it as well, put it on the windowsill. Strawberries need a very, very, have very shallow roots. They don't need a lot of earth. Regular potting soil, put your strawberry in, see what happens. It's an experiment. All right, everyone, there goes last strawberry in the ground. I ha please, please let me know in the comments below, do you think this is going to work? Are we going to get strawberries from this technique? I have no idea, and I'd love to hear what you think. And now, and now for the very first time. We are going to walk straight into the turkeys with our new gate. Open it up and close it. And where are the turkeys? They're not here. I don't know where they are. Look what I got here. Can't be prettier sight than that. <sighs> Look at him. That's our lemon. Third one from this tree. Good morning, everyone. We're out on this beautiful day again. Keep repeating it, beautiful days. Who doesn't like a sunny, hot day? You think you're in the middle of the spring. But um, we're waiting for rain. We're praying for rain. We need our winter. It's important for our whole ecosystem. I just want to quickly show you something so exciting. Exciting. First of all, look at these garlic booming. But that's not what I came to show you. I, besides for all this garlic going all the way down here, I came to show you something else. I came to show you our very first own do you know wait <laughs> oh really i came to show you our very first one and only so far asparagus our very own we planted it from seed this is a real proud moment for me but we're not going to eat it we you don't touch asparagus the first year or two you wait till it gets established and then every year it comes up again and again more and more and more so super super excited about that we're gonna leave this little guy and wait till we get an abundance more of asparagus I want to take this opportunity to thank Breha for helping us at that point, planting the asparagus here. We also planted asparagus all where the garlic is and that did not work. These asparagus were a bit older when we planted them. First asparagus ever. A smile on my face. They're having a sand bath. They dig themselves in and they put sand all around themselves. You'll see them fluffing the sand up and that's how they clean themselves. The sand gets attached to all dirt and they shake it off. Good shake. Look at all that dirt lying around. Look at that. We have here a chicken and a turkey lying together. See all that fluffing? Apparently, this is the preferred spot for a dust bath. And he has a lot, a lot of feathers to clean. I'm telling you, this is a spot. I'm missing one turkey. There are four here. I'm not sure where the other one is. All right, we're gonna start go heading back, okay? Well, there we go. Let's start <laughs> heading back. It's called herding. 
We're missing someone. Let's go find where they are. Black one's missing. Where's your friend? Be back here, your friend. I searched all over campus. I looked under, over, everywhere I can find. I found a sleeping cat. <laughs> yeah, I found him, but I did not find any turkey. She just disappeared into thin air. My husband helped me and um, the gardeners, I alerted all the Vey girls. Whoever finds a turkey, we got some really funny, uh, very funny um, comments on the chats for missing turkeys in a seminary. And uh, I looked underneath by the neighbors. Maybe they flew down in there. Nothing. Couldn't find her at all. The entire afternoon, it was extremely depressing because after one disappeared, the second one also disappeared. I thought maybe she went to find her friend. I don't know. It was the weirdest thing. Like one disappears and as I'm looking for one, second one disappears. But I'm telling you, four or five adults looked for them and we couldn't find them anywhere. And then all of a sudden, at four or five o'clock, they decided to reappear. No one saw them coming in. No one knows where they were. But they just reappeared. The females are in the poop. I love when they do that at the same time. They're like, okay, I'm coming from here. You come from there. One, two, three, and jump. And I just sit there, sleep there for the night. Turkeys, I am real glad you're back. No? Well, I guess he didn't need the training after all because he managed by himself to fly up. He's so funny. Look at him. He like hides when he goes to sleep. He doesn't go in there. He just hides. He's so cute. He is like a total puppy. <laughs> he just hides under there. All the other chickens hop up and go to sleep on perches where chickens sleep on perches. They like simulate branches of a tree. The higher the better. The top chickens always, roosters and chickens, the older ones always get the top rank. The, lo the lesser the lower you are in the totem pole, the younger you are, you get on the lower ranks. Good night, Matas.